All right, uh, we get to side control, right? Three things I want you looking for right out of the gate. Number one is a cross face of some form, right? When I pass, doesn't matter how he pass, let's just assume it's like a knee cut, right? I start knee cutting, right away he's going to be looking to come up. Yes, I need to fight for this underhook, that's going to be the other part, but this is easier to catch right out of the gate, so typically I'm always going to look to pressure in with this cross face. Again, if this is a competition or anything, I'm driving his hand across and it allows me to get his shoulders flat. Now again, this isn't going to hold him here forever because he's immediately going to start looking to fight for this arm, right? That's what we'll feed into. but. I need to have good cross face control. Various ways that you can control it once we land, right? If we're in the gi, then I'm going to grab his collar and keep this nice and tight, okay? No gi, I cup the shoulder. Sometimes if this arm's kind of hanging out, I'll look to actually like scoop the inside of the armpit just as an extra grip, right? But the bigger component of this is that I'm driving my shoulder down. Otherwise, you're gonna fry your grip if I'm just in here squeezing my hand. Have a good grip, drive this shoulder pressure so that if he tries to turn his head into me, I'm keeping his head facing that way as much as possible, right? Now this is a normal cross face. I also have reverse cross face, same idea. I don't just want this arm hanging out here. It's the idea that I want his head turned away from his body. Typically, if I'm doing this cross face, I'm usually also kind of shifting my hips a little bit here, usually because I'm dealing with something down here, right? So I have the reverse cross face, which means I also have reverse hip control. Now hip control, if I don't have this underhook, I have to control the hips in some way, shape, or form. So if I have a normal cross face and he's protecting this underhook, then I have to have this hand protecting this far hip. So that if he tries to scoot into me, I've got the cross face. If he tries to work away from me, I've got the hip locked. Vice versa, if I have the reverse cross face, then I'm controlling the same side hip. Again, he tries to turn away, turn in, doesn't matter, I've got it locked down. All the while I'm fighting for part number two, which is the underhook, right? Once I've established a good cross face, I now have to get underhook control. Now, if you did your job correctly from passing, regardless of how you pass, if we're working like a, a knee cut again, I should be able to work this underhook at the same time that I work this cross face. If I can land those at the same time, awesome. But once I get here, Lock your hands, I can pressure down. Now his shoulders are flat. His main priority is gonna be getting that underhook back, which means he's gonna start trying to pummel and fight that hand back in there. But again, I keep this pressure here, right? I keep the cross face pressure. I'm still driving my shoulder. Now, if he wants to turn his face into my arm, that's fine. I'm gonna just drive my chin or my shoulder into his chin. And again, I'm keeping this. If I don't have this underhook and I just have the cross face, well then again, multiple ways. Maybe as he's pummeling, I re-pummel and I drop my chest. Or if he's keeping this tight, you know, you do like the spider walk and you use your shoulder, you know, various ways. I'm not gonna necessarily show you right now how we get that position. Just understand that we are looking to establish underhook control, right? Last but not least, I gotta deal with this hand. Now lately I've been focusing a lot on shin pins. From this position, a couple ways to do this. If he's just driving at the hip where his hand is right now, I might be able to come up, drive this knee through and actually just pin the shin to the mat. Now, I'm not looking to pin by his wrist because he's able to pull that elbow and get that arm free. I want the bicep. It's gonna suck. I'm in a dominant position now. I can stay and hang out in this position because now I've got this arm. So if he was trying to scoop underneath me, it's not gonna do much. If he's trying to turn up into me, I've got the underhook and I've got the cross face. So now I'm in a good spot to hang out. I don't care if his hips are free at this point. He can move his hips around all he wants. He can try and bump and turn as much as he wants. I'm in a good spot to kind of hang out. Sure, if he bumps hard, it might kind of move me a little bit, but he doesn't have anything that he can establish control at that point, right? But this position allows you to start attacking, which is why if you can get these three control points, your options are endless from here. If I want to start working towards the back, I can use this underhook and bring this forearm now across the solar plex. Again, this is still a cross face, right? Just because I'm not hooking, like I'm still preventing his head from turning up into me. If his head's able to start kind of ducking in here, he can start working up. So even just me posting my arm here, that's a cross face. Establish this. Now maybe I'll switch my feet, come here. Now I can stuff the head. I can work around. We can work to arm bars. I can work Kimuras. You can work all sorts of different positions because I've established those three points of contact. Even getting to positions from here. If I'm in this spot and I've got this arm secured, right? I can work this leg up. He has no way to stop this knee from coming across. Especially if I want to, because again, he might start trying to push with that hand, right? Spider walk. Now I'm here. 
right back into position. So as long as I can control the cross face, an underhook, and this arm, and get those three points of contact, I have complete control of side control. Which order you want to do it in, I think in a perfect world, I would want the underhook first. This is probably the most dominant part of side control. I think the cross face is going to be easier to get. So if you can get the cross face first, get the cross face, fish for the underhook, and then once you've established control there, now we start looking to isolate this arm in some way, shape, or form. From there, take the back, take them out, start choking them, whatever the hell you want to do, you have options because I've got three points of contact.